Bam. Bam. Welcome, folks. Back. Sorry, yesterday didn't work out with the travel and whatnot. Amar Hashem. We are back. We welcome Michael in Germany. Good afternoon. Andrea is with us in Phoenix. Boker Tov. John in North Carolina, good morning. Julia is with us in Pennsylvania. Okay, told Susan in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Two Pennsylvanians. <laughs> Simcha is with us in Florida, while Elise is in West Virginia. Okay, told Diane, Arizona, good morning. Scott is. He's somewhere. I don't remember where Scott. Remind me. Uh, Daphne, Daphne, she is in uh, South Carolina, while Joseph is in New Jersey. Volker Tov, Eugenia in Calgary has joined us. Um, David is in Mexico. Welcome. Leia in Florida is with us. Rena in um, in Colorado has joined us. Uh, in Mexico. Scott, you're in Texas. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you for joining. Um, Joey in New York. Okay. Linda is in Los Angeles, where it must be uh, very early. We have with us Akoy in Peru. We have uh, Bella. We have Rachel in South Carolina with us. We have uh, Bacha, David, Michael. And to Televenta. Christine in Yelm, is that Washington, Washington State, I think. Thank you for joining. Wonderful. Folks, <laughs> we're going to have a double header because we're going to do yesterday's class and today's class. Um, heavy duty Kabbalistic stuff. That we're going to uh, try to make it understandable. Okay. I think we're ready to begin. Everybody, we're good. So we continue in the fourth essay. And the discussion is about the difference between the soul and its comprehension of the divine that leads to a love and awe of God, which sounds magnificent, relative to or versus the physical act of mitzvahs and the study of Torah that has to do with the uh, either the understanding of the mitzvahs, you know, the parameters and how to fulfill the mitzvah, and the like, that is surrounded versus 
you know so the from a human perspective we would probably think you know the study about the parameters of the law is only in order that you could you know do the mitzvah and doing the mitzvah is ultimately in order that can you can experience your soul in the love and awe that you have in doing the mitzvah that's what the human condition would dictate and that's what but in this essay bringing it to quite the opposite that um There's something more and something greater in the doing of the mitzvah, learning the law and the and, and everything that's associated with the mitzvah, right? So he explains and and that it is um, that that is greater than the experience that we have. Meaning, experience means the feelings, right? The feelings refer to the love and awe that the soul experiences. So, included in that, says the Alter Rebbe, today's class, is the study of the Kabbalistic mysteries of Hasidism, of, of the mitzvah itself. That's not inferior at all to the study of the laws, right, and the learning how to do the function of the mitzvah. This is quite the contrary, right? It is, um, you know, when you study the deeper understanding of the mitzvah itself, the mystical component, on the contrary, it is indeed very powerful. And it, too, allows us to touch the essence of the divine. As we learned that when you hold the esrog, right, the physical object of the mitzvah, in the time of doing a mitzvah, on the holiday of Sukkot, for example, right, you are in the act of doing the mitzvah, connecting to the essence of the divine, in the learning of the laws that are associated with how to do that mitzvah properly, esteric, for example, right, that citron fruit that we take on the, law, on the holiday of Sukkot, right, gives us uh, a, an access to a comprehension of the divine will of God. And also, when it comes to the mystical, gives us that comprehension of the divine will of God that's involved in that particular mitzvah. Now, that doesn't include, though, when we talk about the study of the mystical component, it doesn't include the study of Hishtalshalus. Hishtalshalus is the order of creation, understanding God's creative, you know, world to world, right? The world. Avatsilos, Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya, the world of emanation, the world of creation, formation, and action. Right? That's a, a chain like um, descent, progressive self screening of the divine light that creates this world. So even when you comprehend this, in other words, comprehending the power of Creator within creation now intrinsically it's not as worthy as the study of the laws of the mitzvah or the kabbalistic or mystical insights to the mitzvah itself because there you're comprehending again the essence of the divine wisdom right um So it's not as worthy. Moreover, that when you learn, for example, like we learn in Maimonides, we're learning now the laws of purity. In purity, we learned uh, before the laws of offering sacrifices. So this is the law of the, the burnt offering, the meal offering, meaning that when you study it, it's like as if you did it. When you study the laws of it, it's as if you fulfilled it. 
So in other words, there's a inherent intrinsic connection that you have with the divine when you do the mitzvah. There's an inherent intrinsic connection when you learn about the mitzvah. And even when it's about a mitzvah that you cannot perform, like an offering, when you learn about it, it's as if you've done it. So, and you have an intrinsic, essential bond and connection to the divine. As opposed to understanding God within creation. Within creation means, or even beyond, but say they're hishtalshalists, again, the chain-like uh, self-screening descent of the, the divine light of God in the act of creating all worlds, the spiritual worlds in this world, right? It's, it's a lofty mitzvah, And that too is a lofty mitzvah. Why? What's the mitzvah here? To know God. And in a certain way, it says the Alter Rebbe, that this is the ultimate purpose. The ultimate purpose of all the commandments is to have a wholehearted sense of awe of God. So even though it's not a connection to the essence of the divine, But there's a mitzvah that you're fulfilling here in knowing God in all of his ways. And knowing God means to know God in the act of being creator. So when you do understand the function of creation as God creates, that will bring you to serve him with a whole heart. With your entire being, it will lead you to. And that is the ultimate of of doing the mitzvah. That it should bring you to a wholeheartedness in the service of God. Even though, what is this awareness that you're bringing to you? Not of the essence of God, but to the existence of God. Now, concludes the Altar Rebbe and says that this mitzvah to know God is only one of 613. Right? The other mitzvahs bring the spark of God into this world that through the act of doing the mitzvah you are connected to the essence of God. Which is bringing a beer, you know, a purification of this world, a rectification, a, a, a clarity, a refinement to this world. So, we've got, you know, two opposite ideas here. On the one hand, the mitzvah, the act of the mitzvah, the study of what's involved in the act of the mitzvah, and what is the, you know, the, the core of the mitzvah as it would be understood in mystical teachings. All of that gives a 